Hey everybody, welcome back to Dragon Warrior. Here we are at the bottom of the volcano and there's a giant... What is that thing? stopper? What are those called? Um, uh, uh, the, the, um, uh, the, the dots? Uh, dots. Yeah, dots. <laughs> Soon it will all be over. Humans are such foolish creatures worshipping a god of flame that doesn't even exist. Oh, controversial statement. God of flame. Uh, no one really believes in the god of flame anymore. <laughs> cool. Feels good. And now the humans will turn over the final flame to me, unleashing the fury of the flame of darkness. With the flame's power, this volcano will erupt and raise the land to cinders. These humans will fall into the despa into despair, thinking this the wrath of the god of flame. And you, human... Whoa, look at that thing's face. Wow. And you, human, do you dare step in my way? Fools, you are nothing more than kindling for my scorching flames. Okay, your every time he says flame, take a shot. <laughs> your, At home. <laughs> your flesh and do it. bones. Your flesh, your bones, your very soul. I will now turn into piles of gray ash. Huh. Wow. Whoa, way there. It's a big Moai head. Is it a Moai head or is it a Moai head? Or a Joe I head. <laughs> oh, uh, because I, I'm I Joe. am Joe. I am Joe. I am Mo. Whoa. <laughs> God, I hate group attacks. Oh, really? When they're because... used against us. <laughs> I mean. Ow. Wow, how's that a group attack? Is it, is it Tremors? Oh, good movie. Never seen it. Really? You've never seen Tremors? Only parts. Oh, man. More like only farts, Jack. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. That's my improv, Joe. I say something innocuous followed by a name. <laughs> Always Jack. I say something, Jack. Uh, healing. Healing. I feel like we can wait to heal. I've got spuds in my spleen, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I... take the spuds out of your spleen, Jack, for bloody sake, Jack. <laughs> Jack, they're switched in there so tight, Jack. <laughs> Reach your paws in there, Jack. Get them out. Right in your spleen. <laughs> A spleen. Every time I hear spleen, I think of that um, episode of of um, Invader Zim oh. called Dark Harvest where Zim goes around the school collecting everybody's organs. Ooh. I don't remember that. Oh, it's a good one. First season, I think. I wonder if I should uh, take them off auto and I, I gave some herbs to them. Yeah, it's. I think it's time to, to get real here and take control. Get bent. It's time to get bent. I wonder who does more damage at this point, Maribel or Kiefer? Uh, uh, well, the thing is, is, their best attacks are fire skills. Yeah. So probably neither of them are super effective. Um, I guess just Kiefer's ordinary attack is probably the best way to go. I'll just heal up everybody. Okay. Wait, I lost track of who I'm healing. <laughs> Back uh, to the beginning. That time of the, the playthrough. Maribel. Carrie. Kiefer. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I just wasn't sure. Like, I thought Kiefer would be the slowest, so I wanted to uh, make sure to have him heal Carrie because that's less important. All right. Just attack, attack, attack. Um, waka waka waka. Do we have any spells that like decrease its uh, defense? That could be useful. Upper uh, boost defense. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Me. Okay. I'm an all out baby. I'm an all out baby. 
Oh, set. There we go. Woo. Fun fact about moai heads um, from Rapa Nui, aka Easter Island. They're not just heads. They have full bodies. They're, yeah. They're just tiny and buried in the dirt. They also have eyes. Yeah, but most of them have fallen out. As they do, as eyes often do. Yeah. They look extra creepy, too. And something that I think most people don't know is that all of the Moai heads face inland. <gasps> None of them face out at the ocean. It's like, we don't need to protect the island from outsiders. We need, we to, need to protect the outside from, from the insiders. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's just like a weird fact that, you know... Um, I feel like that's one of those facts that like nobody knew, but then hey, oh that was wow, easy. hey that was easy easy button. He went down like a sack of spuds. Uh, There's a spud in him, Jack. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in a spleen, <laughs> in a squiggly spooch. Kiefer promote. What did it say? Promoted? Yeah. Hey, good for you, Kiefer. Got a promotion. You know what, Jacob? I give you a promotion. Perry pass. Ah, thank you. What do you, I learn? You get twice as much money as you got before. Whoa. As you, you, I was paying you before. Twice oh, as much. As you were paying me. Yes. Okay. Arrgh. How could someone as lonely as you defeat me? No dwell, human. Even if I die, this flame of darkness will never be extinguished. You know, it's weird. A flame of darkness is kind of counterintuitive. All you can do now. It's like a black light. It's just showing like all the grossness. <laughs> a, it shows blood, urine, or semen, Jack. <laughs> all you can do now is wait for its blazing fury to. <laughs> Oof. I'm staying on my tongue. <laughs> that look cute. Bye. Okay, let's uh, poke around here. We destroyed the monster. Don't tell me it's not over. What's that black flame? He went floating up. Huh. Um, Is that a... It's the butthole of the volcano. Yeah. Whee! Oh. Wah, wah. I wasted my time uh, earlier. Do we want to... Since the uh, time limit it has... Um, we've... Um, whoa, beat, whoa, we... Uh, hmm. We hmm. beat the time hmm. limit. Do you want to go get those extra... Um, Hey, um, treasure chests. things. Treasure chests. But are you sure you want to get it? <laughs> okay. Nobody saw those air quotes. <laughs> but they could hear them. And that's what's important. All right. We'll go look for some. some and that sounds like a perfect time for some trivia. All right, I want you to participate in these questions too. And don't just read ones you know. Read them all, except the sports ones. <laughs> okay, what's the only U.S. state to share a border with one of Canada's maritime provinces? Uh, maritime province. What's the only U.S. state to share a border with one of Canada's maritime provinces? I don't know this, but I have a guess. I would guess Maine. That's what I was thinking. And the answer is Maine. Uh, do you know what their state tree is in Maine? Um, the Pantagoose? <gasps> no, it's the pine tree. The pine tree. That's okay. a tree? Wow. <laughs> The, wait, the, the, the pine trees are real? They're real, Jack. Uh, oh. oh, hello. Hello. Okay. Uh, what 1976 chart-topping song did Barry Manilow sing, but not right? Um, uh, Star Spangled Banner. I have no idea. Do you think we should, like, in the show notes, give credit to Trivial Pursuit that we're using the questions? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, just say it now. Yeah, Trivial Pursuit. Go play it. It's awesome. Um, I feel like I'm still missing out a chest. The song is called I Write the Songs. I've never heard of that before. I write the songs. Then, I write the songs. Oh, I thought you were doing the Katy Perry. I, I wrote, wrote the songs and I liked it. 
Chase, taste of my cherry chapstick. Whoa. What? I wrote no. the songs <laughs> just to try it. <laughs> Turns out I sang it wrong, though, because I'm Barry Manilow. <laughs> Have you ever seen Katy Perry and Barry Manilow in the same room at the same time? You know what? Maybe. I might have at one point. Okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Oh, nice. Uh, and did yes. you... I haven't been paying attention. Uh, have we got the other one that was in the interior of the volcano? Yes. You did? We're all yes. good? Nice. Oh, and use that deaf seed. Okay. Uh, what two words... Damn, my hearing. Sorry. <laughs> deaf joke. <laughs> Too soon. Are you making fun of our deaf listeners? No. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> That's... I'm sorry. That's... Uh, that, yeah. Go uh, back to your Trivial Pursuit. Okay. It's so uh, trivial. What two-word phrase to describe an, an uh, ambitious social program was coined by LBJ, that's Lyndon Baines Johnson, on April... Wait, Lyndon Baines Johnson? I think it is Lyndon Baines Johnson. The the president... Baines? Yeah, I think so. Baines. Who, who succeeded Kennedy yeah, after he was shot. I know who shot. Lyndon B. Johnson is. Uh, on April 23rd. Oh, that's almost a great date. Uh, 1964. Okay, what two-word phrase? <laughs> okay, what two-word phrase to describe an ambitious social program was coined by LBJ on April twenty-third, nineteen sixty-four? Um, I have no social idea. Social reform? <laughs> I don't know. I what was no, it? It's great society. I've, I've never, never heard, heard that before. All right. Wow, it's so cheesy and molten cheesy. Mm. Mm. Getting hungry. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's you. By the Ta-ta. god of flame, what happened inside the volcano? Please, tell me everything you saw down there. Ta-ta. Oh, I thought you were going to go no. Hmm, I see. If that's true, then this flame won't be put out so easily. But if we leave it like this, I don't know what will happen. Oh God! What did that I was do? the Swedish chef. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be a way to put out the flame, isn't there, Pamela? That's what I'd like to find out myself. What? Can't you see anything with your clairvoyance? Wait, no, that's that's totally made up and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Pamela, like, admits right now. It's like, no, I don't... I don't know anything. I was just guessing. (laughs) I'm old and stupid. Uh, The monster told me he was going (laughs) to do this. Psychics don't exist. (laughs) We're all going to die anyway. My predictions never come true after... Whoa. Wow. After all, she admits it. Ah, uh, just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take a look. <laughs> it's almost like the the game is writing this on the fly with us. Yeah. I see something. Hmm, I see a shabby little room. Oh, and a man. He's balding and he's got a dumb goatee. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, the oh, elder. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm talking about the elder, of course. With a solemnly face. Slovenly. Slovenly. He has something in his hand. A jar? No, a bottle with some liquid in it. Who do you think she's referencing? Um. Think about it. Slovenly man, goatee, bottle in his hand. Oh my god. Can you do it? Could it be? Could it be? Is it. Maribel? Them? (laughs) <laughs> them in quotes <laughs> oh it's Carrie <laughs> I see Carrie with him that's all I'm getting the liquid in that bottle may have the power to put out the flame Carrie do you have any idea who that man is okay do you yeah it's her uncle okay good 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 I thought so now you uh, you just have to find that man and get the bottle If you know where he is, it shouldn't take too long for you to get there. Please. Oh, that's you. Please, I beg of you. You must help us. The flame shows uh, uh, no sign of causing trouble, but you must hurry, Carrie. Carrie. 
Isn't that man she mentioned Carrie's uncle? Let's go get that bottle right now, Carrie. We've got to put back the uh. We've got to put that black flame out. Uh, were you thinking what I was thinking when Pamela made her prediction, Carrie? Let's go. I'm not sure if like uh, I wonder if like there was a number of players who would have like because the the idea is like um beforehand as Rex would as the prototypical like the introducing like this is like only episode two essentially and they're introducing the idea of going Which, to back to the future to get yeah like the, your MacGuffin to solve your problem in the past is this the way out I assume so yeah it's very uh adventure gamey whoa, whoa. hey there pixely hey there feller Okay. Take it easy there, black lung. Huh? <laughs> Leave a comment if you know that reference. Okay, what was the most prevalent farm-raised fish in the U.S.? So you plant the fish on the ground and it grows... Hmm. Yep. Uh, in the 90s. Uh... Salmon? Oh, the catfish. Oh! Skin and cats. Um, there's something. Oh no, I'll save it. Keep going. <laughs> I'll save it for the next time it's opportune, and then it'll be extra funny. <laughs> I, I'll, you just have to trust me, everybody. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Okay. Uh, what country bombed Americans with absolute vodka? Uh, what? What uh, yeah, I, country I bombed Americans with absolute vodka? You dropped a bomb on me, baby? Like absolute in, um, in Italicis. Uh, it's the brand. Oh. Oh, uh... If I remember... France? No, well... For some reason, I think it's the Swedish. Is not absolute Swedish? Uh, yep, Sweden. 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 Okay, um... <laughs> oh, if hey, okay, uh, okay. <laughs> what do euphemistically minded educators dub a quote motorized transportation module? End quote. A car. Uh, let's see. A school bus. Makes sense. A motorized transportation module. Oh. And Joe, you Stupid. need to you need to use what is. <laughs> what is the school bus? Jeopardy what? rules. Oh, we're back. Back in the present. Back again. Shady's back. Shady's back. Shady's back. And we have Zoom. Oh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, I start. Uh, what's the uh, what's the most common last name among the world's English speaking Smith. people? Smith. 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 Smith soup. <laughs> okay. This is going away. Who is on Oh, I was wondering who was there. It was you, Gary. You were just in time. Actually, there's something I want to ask you. If you answer me correctly, I'll give you this <laughs> holy water. How's that? Okay. All right. Okay, here goes. Is it true that Emmett and Borgano were called to the castle at the new island? Um, yeah. Just as I thought. I smell a profit to be made here. Damn. I guess I owe you this holy water. How do you think he got came across holy water? He just like comes across a lot of stuff. Well, that's it. I just got a, I got a lot to think over. Sorry, but would you mind leaving me alone? Hondora out. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine him being played by Ryan Seacrest. Oh, really? Ryan yeah. Seacrest, pretty smooth. Pretty smooth dude. Yeah, just like Hondora. You know, the only thing smoother than Ryan Seacrest is... Uh, Baby's bottom. <laughs> I was going to say Ryan Seacrest, but... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we were going in the same direction. The only thing smoother than Ryan Seacrest is Ryan Seacrest's butt. <laughs> he gets it whacked. <laughs> See, I, I didn't know that. I just always assumed. Oh, yeah. It's a fact. It's on the wiki. You know, actually, with his, like, you know, his stubbly face, like, you know, that's how he's got... He's, the, got, he's got actually butt stubble. Yeah, like shaved butt stubble. <laughs> <laughs> he's got five o'clock shadow on his butt. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he's got a team of... Uh, Beauticians. Oh yeah, for sure. Just to keep the 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 stubble just right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't have it too long. You can't have it too short. Yeah. <laughs> He's also a contractor. Like he he uh, he moonlights as a uh, a sanding machine. <laughs> <laughs> Rubs his hands around on wooden floors. <laughs> uh, what a weird damn episode this is. <laughs> How about we roll into Enga, we save it, and we uh, we call Are, it. Is there still more to this? Uh, there is. All right. Well, we can just call it here. How about do do one more questions for for our thirsty viewers? <laughs> okay. What poet was awarded an armchair made from the spreading chestnut tree he made famous? What poet was awarded an armchair made from the spreading chestnut tree? T.S. Eliot. I'm going to say Walt Whitman, because that's one of the only poets I know. Uh, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. That's oh, of the other one. <laughs> that's that other poet we know. And the, a, Emily Dickinson. Can you think Emily about Emily Dickskin, Joe. <laughs> Whoa. Letterkenny. Is that a Letterkenny thing? Yes. Come on. Get with it. Uh, top right. Jimmy Dickskin? It's Dickens. You don't know that? No. I guess I, I must not. I've only seen like four episodes of Lit. Actually, I saw the first season. Yeah. Wow. I think Jimmy Dickskin's a character later. Oh, okay. Maybe season two, season three. Yeah, I think I've seen the first episode of season two. He, Jimmy Dickskin is the guy, he's the, uh, um, uh, auction reader. That oh, you know what? Yes. Oh, I I'm taking one. Da, 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 two. Da, 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 yeah, I saw, I saw him introduced, three. but like he didn't get a lot of screen time. Yeah. And then McMurray calls him Dickskin. Oh. Oh, you know, Dickskin. Oh. McMurray, he's, he seems cool. Yeah. All right, everybody, that is Dragon Warrior. We hope to see you in a couple days. Lots of exciting stuff is happening at the channel. Be sure to subscribe to Carriageway for more updates. And we will see you sleeping. <laughs> All the time. Always. Always. Bye.